So I, I'm I'm making this video because I'm I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty frustrated about this topic. This is something I've never understood. I'm making this video because I I fucking I've had enough. I've seen, I've I've seen this too much. It's it's fucking it's it's time. Okay, we got to talk about this. Okay, all I see online is dudes being like, not just me but other people as well. Like oh, uh, you don't train legs. It's a it's a default insult to anyone that has either a gym picture. Or someone that's like being roasted for any other reason. I don't know why. Like, basically, this insult is default. Is like, oh, you don't train legs. You don't train legs. This is the reason why this insult doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay. I have literally not come across more than three people in any gym at any one time that actually have impressive looking legs. I don't mean like fat. I mean like actually impressive defined legs dude if you go into any commercial gym it's unlikely unless you're at a bodybuilding gym like i'm at a bodybuilding gym and so there's more than i average but like any commercial gym you never see more than like what maybe two people in the whole gym membership that you'll ever like run into in rotation that actually have impressive looking legs you don't fucking see it it never happens and there's a reason why okay there's a reason why legs don't get very big when you're natty that's the fucking truth have you, do you guys know greg Dusset? Greg Doucette's a very famous YouTube Now, Greg Doucette had pretty decent legs as a natty. But even he'll tell you, his legs as natty would not have been competitive at a pro level, okay? And most people don't have genetics as good as Greg Doucette. So it doesn't matter how long you train, how hard you train, most individuals are never going to have legs that look as good as Greg Doucette's looked natty. Ronnie Coleman apparently was natty until like the 95 or 96, maybe, no, I'm lying. I think he wasn't natty, he was natty until the 97 Olympia or something, something like that. And it's arguable, we don't obviously know if he's telling the truth. Ronnie Coleman's legs natty looked amazing if he was natty, okay? If he was natty. I very, very rarely run into any natty that has decent looking legs. And I mean like impressive. I mean like legs where you pull down your... Okay, fuck man, this, is, this sounds so fucking gay. <sighs> fucking hell. This is why it's a fucking problem. Why are we staring at each other's legs? Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand, okay? But anyway, so, whatever. If you look at these legs, right? I've never seen... Or I, 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 mean, I can't say never. I haven't seen too many fucking dudes in person that like... I check their legs and I'm like, damn, the dude's got fucking crazy legs. Like, it almost never happens. It happens like once in a fucking blue moon. Now, I'm not going to put fucking examples up. I'm not going to splice in videos because fuck it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Let me just tell you something. Having big legs is not an advantage. It makes no sense, okay? I had decent legs at a point because guess what? I was on fucking steroids. I was a fucking idiot bodybuilder. I wasted my time bodybuilding. No disrespect to the bodybuilders, but I feel like I wasted my time. Bodybuilding was pointless, having massive legs was pointless. I don't have massive legs, I had decent legs. I I had fair legs. Go look at my Instagram if you want. I have my fucking I have my fucking um links in the bio, right? Get check my Instagram if you want. Scroll through, you'll see some some videos and pictures. There's a, there's a video from like the beginning of my my uh new account where I reposted a video from the prior year, 2019, where I was doing cardio and I had my legs like my legs were fucking vascular and Go look at that video if you want to see it. That was my legs 2019. I've got a video on Facebook of my legs in 2019 as well. I've got pictures of my legs at various points. I've got videos of my legs at various points. All of my shit, I've got whatever. Check my Facebook if you want. Check my. I have some pictures of my legs when they were at their biggest, right? And they were bigger than most people's legs you'll ever come across. And I mean like lean and defined and striated. Like my legs looked very good, you know, decent for someone on gear. Not crazy, but decent. Getting there, you know, getting there. You know, getting better than most people have ever and will ever have their legs developed. Right now, I've been off for like how long now? Like fucking seven months, right? Seven months or so. My legs still look bigger than most natties. Most natties. And they're going to stay that way because I've lost pretty much all the muscle and strength I was going to lose coming off stuff. I've already, I've already had my, my dips in everything, in fucking motivation, in sex drive, in fucking strength, everything. I've had my dips. I'm pretty much where I would be now if I maybe, if let's say like maybe, I don't know. If, I don't know if you could say if I've never taken gear, but like I'm pretty much where I should be just as a complete clean natty. I've got no assistance in my blood plasma at all. That's it. Like it's done. Everything that you see is, is me just as is. I put up a video just now, uh, maybe a couple hours ago, 
of my legs in November, end of the, end of the month. Um, again, that's still me completely off. Like I said, I took, I stopped taking stuff like what, May? And finished PST around what, July? So my legs in that video in November are, that's how they look, right? And they're not crazy, but they're decent. Are you going to tell me I have small legs? Someone that's not using steroids, not using even TRT, not using anything. I'm not using growth, nothing. I'm, I'm completely clean. And you're telling me that that video is like someone with small legs, with no assistance. Small legs, really? You think that's small? What the fuck? What do you think is big then? What, what do you want? Do you want guys to walk around with fucking tree trunks? Do you think that's fucking normal? Do you think that's helpful? Do, do you think you can fucking... Imagine you had to move to the fucking forest. Do you think you're fucking jumping over fucking tree stumps and shit with massive legs, just fucking running everywhere and maneuvering and like... No, dude, do you know how fucking impractical it is to have big legs? You know what happens when guys get, guys get big legs? When guys get big muscular legs, the adductors get really, really big in, in, this, in, in the middle portion, right? And you start fucking chafing, your legs start... Your legs literally don't have anywhere to go because, because a lot of bodybuilders have very narrow hip bones because they have good structures most bodybuilders have narrow hip bones so when you have narrow hip bones and you have giant tree trunk legs that are fucking as big as your waist what do you think fucking happens einstein what do you think happens your fucking legs have no way to fucking go they're literally chafing you know how fucking weird that looks do you know dude i don't fucking understand it's always people that don't even train dude i walk into my fucking gym i see people train i've gone to i've gone to Three different version active gyms in Cape Town, in the Cape Town area. So I've gone to the one in Newlands. I went to the one in my friend's suburb. And I went to the one in Century City. Gone to my version active in Stellenbosch. I train in Marty's gym where athletes train. Like, like athletes, rugby players train. Like professionals train. Athletes train in my gym. I swear. Google Marty's gym. Literal athletes train there. Like South African rugby players. I've seen... All sorts of powerless from Germany and shit. People that don't speak my language training there in December. I see legit athletes training there. I've been to other gyms. I very rarely go in the gym and see someone actually training legs. Like, a way that would make me be like, damn. I, sometimes you see it. Sometimes you see guys in the gym that are very, like, you know, passionate. And that are screaming and trying to do blood and guts. Guys, I have a friend named Hihu, right? Now, I don't want to mention him too much because I'm not trying to... I don't want to... Uh, I don't like to use people's likenesses too much. My friend, who is a very good bodybuilder. He's a brilliant bodybuilder, okay? He is a top three in the country, classic physique, amateur competitor. He's an incredible bodybuilder. He has an amazing physique. That guy's got an amazing physique and he's going to go pro one day. He's, he's got, you know, he's got potential. He's really where I, where I wanted to be when I was still taking bodybuilding seriously. The one day I was in the gym at like five-ish... I don't see him around so much, and especially like him, he usually goes in when I finish my sessions, right? But one day I saw he was at the leg extension, and I was like, you know, I was like, let me just go chat to him, because I, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen him in a, a bit, so I said hi to him, whatever, and I said, you know what, you told me, like, I should train together with you sometime, a long time ago, and I never, we, we never made the plan, so I was like, you know what, what are you training? And he's like, legs, and I'm like, well, I've got to train legs, I'm thinking to myself, like, huh. like, is this, I'm like, fuck it, I'm like, I ask him, I'm like, dude, do you want to train legs together? And let me tell you, the leg session we had, like the shit we were doing, like the fucking drop sets and shit, people were fucking staring. People were staring. That's that's the truth of it. I'm not, not trying to sound cool, but that's the fucking truth of it. We were screaming, doing drop sets, force reps, and people were literally looking at us. Like they were looking at what the fuck was going on. Because it, it shit never happens. It never happens. Ever. Ever. Okay? So, these days, when I'm in the gym, you'll see me flexing every now and again. You'll see me check myself out in the mirror every now and again. You'll see me, you know, grunting a little bit here and there. But the truth is that when I'm in the gym, I'm never looking at anyone training and being like, oh, you should be training harder. Why aren't you screaming? You gotta get massive legs. It doesn't fucking matter. There's no point. It doesn't, it does, there's no bearing on anything. There's not like, when I go in the gym and I fucking leg press 280, 300, people are like, people look at it and they, they, you can see they're glancing. I'm thinking to myself, like, this is light. Like, this is like nothing. I'm doing this without effort. It's it's easy. Like, this is just whatever. And and I don't even have massive legs, but 